Grey Vetiver Eau de Parfum. Since its debut in 2009, it has long been lauded as one of the more ideal modern man fragrances. But today the question is, is it still worth buying? Well, not only do I still think it's worth buying, I think that every man and maybe every woman should consider testing this at least once and or owning it throughout your fragrance journey. Stay tuned for reasons why, now roll intro, roll video. Now the first reason to why you should own Grey Vetiver is that it is a gateway vetiver. Vetiver is often considered a more geriatric note, so more old school. And I get it, if you're a young person, typically you may be considering something cleaner, more woody, more masculine, but you also don't wanna smell like your uncle or your grandfather or someone like that. But rest assured, I would say with Grey Vetiver and how long this stuff has been around, it's not too much like the sense of yesteryear that you may have the association with the note of vetiver in. Instead for me, again, I feel it's really modern and the ultimate productivity set. You wake up, you take a shower, you do your hair, you shave, you brush, you get ready for work and then you're almost on your way out, but you then spray this. Trust me when you spray this, nothing's going to stop you. You're going to feel like you're ready to take on your day. To me, it's that invigorating with its mix of citrus, fresh spicy, and woody notes. The grapefruit here is so juicy yet not too sweet that when you add notes like nutmeg and paprika, you have this sparkling type of peppery cleanliness. It's not too intense, but whenever you do get a waft of yourself or if you go to sniff it on your wrist, I feel like you just might get a little bit more pep in your step because it's that uplifting. But then when it starts to dry down, I feel like you have more of this salty, woody vibe. One that feels like an assertive masculine business casual. It's a very clean vetiver without smelling too balmy. It's just total class for, again, today's modern man. Overall, just very well blended by master perfumer Harry Fremont. So yeah, if you do live that fast paced industrious lifestyle or you are aspiring to that, then I will consider getting something like this. I feel like it totally matches the vibe. Now, the next reason to buy Grey Vetiver Eau de Parfum is its versatility. Not just among seasons or occasions, but among Amongst all of you guys, different personality types. Like I think both more rugged and blue collar types would like this as well as of course, more university college types and or business casual types. And hell, if you're a woman and you're tired of smelling like a snack, then maybe consider smelling like this because I think it will genuinely make you come across as a little bit more assertive. So I love that. And then again, I love the traditional versatility traits. For seasons, it's fresh enough for the summer and or spring, as well as woody enough for the fall and or winter. And then for occasions, Again, with those type of personalities, you can dress this up or dress this down. So for fancy work functions, work itself, or just doing stuff around the house, you can't go wrong. Now moving on to the next reason to why you should own Grey Vetiver Eau de Parfum, and that is performance. Trust me, I'm not too much of a performance slut when it comes to buying a fragrance, but I do love the idea of having a fragrance that I can spray less of and still emanate beautifully in, as well as spray more of and still get those wafts nine to 10 hours later. So for example, it's a cold winter day and the occasion is work. I spray on each side of the neck, just below my neck, and then the back of my neck, and I think I'm totally good with that. If I start at nine, it will develop into a beautiful skin scent by around 5 p.m when my shift is done. So if I change into going out clothes after, I'll still have a bit of a skin scent going on, so I don't have to go too crazy afterwards either. Maybe at most just the same spray routine as I did in the morning. Now typically be around an arm's length worth of projection that will linger beautifully into the night. Absolutely no complaints here. Now that brings us to the next reason to why you should buy a Grey Vetiver Eau de Parfum, and that is its compliment factor. Firstly, my girlfriend digs it off me, which is great. But secondly, it is one of those fragrances that people just don't tell you that you smell nice in. They truly ask you where they can get it. And that's one of the best comments you can ever get because it's so good that they are willing to smell like you. Like for real, in just my personal interactions with people day to day, I would have had people, maybe around a half dozen of them, ask me what this is, where they can get this, and do I have a discount code? So again, very flattering. I think it's an unsung compliment getter in my personal day to day. And maybe that's good enough for you to consider trying this yourself as well. Now that brings us to the final reason to why you should own Grey Vetiver Eau de Parfum in 2022, and that is value. And while 150 US dollars retail for a 50 ml is still quite a lot, Grey Vetiver is also known to be heavily marked down on various web stores. So that's the fragrance nets of the world, the fragrance buys, the fragrance X's, 
stuff like that. And there you can save around 20 to 30 US dollars, give or take on either a 50 or 100 ml presentation. And at that value, because I am so high on its quality, so high on its uniqueness and all of the reasons prior, I truly believe that buying gray vetiver on the gray market is excellent value. Like as long as this thing is gonna be a signature for you and or you'll rotate through your fragrances and this one enough, then yes, it would fulfill much of a job needed, I think, in most people's fragrance rotations. Now on the flip side, I know it's some of you guys are thinking if you're really hardcore into fragrances, especially the niche side, you can buy a more unique smelling fragrance for a lesser price from this brand or that. And to that I say, I don't think you need something more avant-garde or creative to be unique still. I think you can make subtle changes in an already existing genre or build off of similar other scents and make it your own to truly be unique. I think the brand of Tom Ford kind of looked at older vetivers and or older masculine scents and just said, hey, let's try to do something newer, something more newer palettes in the wild would actually appreciate from when it was released 12, 13 years ago until now, until later. I think it's just really easy to digest. It's truly a dumb reach and there's nothing wrong with that. So if you're into this level of practicality, give this video a thumbs up if you've yet to. What do you think of Grey Vetiver Eau de Parfum? Do you own it? Have you tested it? Or are you simply excited to check it out after this video? Please let me know in the comments. Don't worry, they won't go on red. I literally read all of them. And yeah, if you really enjoyed this video, please subscribe if you have yet to. I know it's been a while since I was consistently posting, but there'll be more to come, I promise. Thank you as always for the ongoing support. Take care for now. Peace out. Bye. My name is Manny. Where are your fragrances?